7 p.m. on the SEC Network. Kentucky goes to Starkville, Mississippi. The Mississippi State Bulldogs are a one and a half point underdog at home. Total of 47. Uh, State 5 and 0 oh straight up the last five times that Kentucky has come down to Starkville. Kentucky has not beaten them in Starkville since 2008. 2008, man. Uh, but this is not exactly, you know, when we were in high school or whatever. It, it's not the same kind of Kentucky football team. Kentucky is 6 and 1 against the spread so far this year. And while it is scary to go to Starkville, uh, when I look at some of these numbers, I one and a half seemed low. My line on this was Kentucky minus four, and I immediately started thinking, man, I might need to take State here. And if you look at it just across the board, defense, offense, everything else, as far as success rate goes, Mississippi State has been really successful. But I think, I think Kentucky's one of those teams that just finds a way to win no matter what. I'm I'm going to ride Kentucky minus the one and a half. I might end up hating myself come Saturday night, but I think Kentucky is is the better football team. I'm going to take them to win by by more than one and a half points here. What are, what are your thoughts on the Bulldogs and the Wildcats here? Uh, I don't like this game either, but give me the Bulldogs at home. Um, I'm catching a little bit of a point, and I got the home team. And this Mississippi State team has done some special things this year uh, with their back up against the wall. So, you know, I like Kentucky. I think Kentucky is really good. I also think Kentucky is due for a downfall. Doesn't this seem like the the NC State at Mississippi State game earlier in the season? Yep. Where, you know, State coming off a a piss-poor performance and everybody just assumes, oh, NC State's going to come in here and kill them and and whatever, and State ends up kind of dominating the football game. I... Like I, I gotta trust my numbers. I gotta trust my process here. That's why I'm rolling Kentucky. But man, I could a hundred percent see State coming out with a win here. This three three five defense that Zach Arnett runs is no joke. And and I don't think Kentucky's seen anything like it thus far this season. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.